All right, our first question is from Emily Gregoire Fitness. I recently started working out with a new trainer who has me doing more chest work than I've ever done before. Being a very small-breasted woman, is my pec development going to make my chest look bigger? Okay, that's actually a good question. Usually the, the question I get around chest exercises from women is, are these exercises going to make my Shrink boots them. smaller? Yeah. Um, so one thing to understand is that spot reduction it, it actually doesn't happen. So what that means is if I train a part of my body, my body doesn't burn body fat from just that area. It, it's a systemic fat loss and your genetics largely determine where you lose fat from. So if you're a woman and you're working out and you're getting overall leaner, the odds are you will lose some breast size, but it has nothing to do with the chest work. It's because you're getting leaner. Right. Now, as far as the chest exercises, okay, this is anecdote, um, but from all, from the female clients that I trained- Incline press. Yeah, they all said that it lifted yeah, their, their that's breasts. That's why I like incline. Yeah, because mm -hmm. underneath your, your, your breasts are obviously your pec muscles. And if your pec muscles are more developed, it's going to lift your 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 breasts and make them appear to be more whatever perkier or whatnot. So it's it's not something you should avoid. That's for sure. Yeah, don't avoid it. And it, and we really are. It's splitting hairs. What we're talking about too. Like you're not gonna you're not gonna do a bunch of chest exercises that are gonna make your boobs massive. You're not gonna do a bunch of chest exercises that are gonna make them disappear. Like it's just it's it's an exercise that you should probably be doing. Um, I don't know as a trainer if I would put uh, extra emphasis in it. Like if I had a client that was that came to me like, hey, I, I, you know, is there something we can do to build my boobs? Or right. I, I, I don't think I would add a, a, a in the routine just because no. I think I think about uh, you know the rhomboids like you know more so just to, to be able to support uh, you know good posture with yeah and exactly and that yeah. is because in my experience uh, I mean most everybody suffers from some sort of upper cross syndrome I think it's even more common in women than it is in men and I I think that for the most part I would be teaching my client because here's the thing too you know it'll make your boobs look great is standing up with great posture one of my favorite mm -hmm. things to take a client who had this kind of like you know this this slouch shoulder forward head yep. and and they would come in and they tell me about how, how they want to look and then just they they would be kind of really down on themselves and be limited and i'd take them over to the mirror and i would i would do this posture check with them and i'd hold them that and i'm gonna look at yourself you look like when you stand up right i don't care man or woman you stand up right and you're, you look like you've lost 10 pounds just from good oh, posture. Absolutely. So I would put a lot of my energy with, with clients that, you know, felt that way, like the boobs were sagging or my, my, my curves mm -hmm. or my body didn't look good just by getting, um, her to stand up, well, right. Have really good posture. Boy, it really accentuates all of their curves and their, their natural, that their body looks already. Yeah. So your, your posture sends uh, a signal to people uh, on the outside that, t that gives them a clue, uh, as to your physical strength and health. That's obvious. But also your emotional state, your posture reflects oftentimes your emotional state. So if I were to say right now, imagine a, you know, a 17 year old girl who's depressed and sad. And now what kind of posture do you automatically imagine? If I say to you, think of somebody that just won a sporting event and is, is has incredible energy. What kind of posture do you tend to imagine? Posture. And remember, communication is mostly nonverbal and your posture is part of that. So that's 100% right, Adam. When you correct your posture, regardless of anything else, even if you don't change your body composition, you're sending a healthier signal. And attractiveness is, it, it, the root of attractiveness is health. So all the things that we tend to view as attractive, even though we, we try to trick each other with things like makeup and, and, and surgeries and all that other, and clothes and all that stuff, at the end of the day, really the root of it is you're, you're exemplifying health. And so when you're healthy, you just look much more attractive. Now, as far as this question is concerned, I don't, I don't think this trainer is emphasizing chest work. I think she's just doing more chest work than ever before, because in my experience, when I trained female clients they who have exercise, they yes. Yeah. Yeah. When they have exercise history, when I would look at their workouts, the the thing that they trained the last the least was always chest. Yeah, it was just something they so didn't. That, they didn't that's focus fair. On. Like I don't, I definitely don't want to rag on a trainer. I don't know. Like for all you know, her doing three sets a week of of chest may be the more most than she's ever done ever done before. Yeah, have, I mean, did you guys ever get that comment from a female client where she's just like, "Wow, we're doing so much chest work," and yeah. it's like, "Well, yeah. this is normal. It's actually yeah. balanced, right? Right? You know, based off of what you were, you know, what you did before. And balance always looks really good. Imbalances don't. So. There is a, a a healthy balance between 
the back and the chest mm -hmm. and between the upper and lower body. You know, symmetry, balance, these are terms that you hear in, in bodybuilding or bikini or physique. So avoiding one part of the body is going to uh, be detrimental to your aesthetics because balance, and they do this with, fa by the way, face, when, when they try to figure out like the science behind what makes someone uh, someone's face attractive, symmetry and balance mm -hmm. are the two things that we can measure scientifically. Your body has this as well. So you don't want to avoid working a particular area. And again, uh, spot reduction is a myth. So don't worry. You're not going to lose your your boobs because you work out your chest on the flip side you know you're not going to be able to get your stomach leaner by working your abs it's got to be overall leaner and you want to have good balance and you want to have good posture because it it looks healthy and healthy is attractive